13 Action News Update sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. I'm Colleen Estrinos and right now in your 13 Action News Update, former Raiders player Henry Ruggs has been formally charged in a deadly crash. Charges include DUI resulting in death and reckless driving resulting in death. Ruggs was also formally charged with DUI resulting in substantial bodily harm and reckless driving resulting in substantial bodily harm. Now the prosecution added these felony charges because police say Ruggs' girlfriend was also injured in that crash. But the defense asked for her medical records not to be produced in the case. Also, Tina Tintor was killed in that crash. The Southern Nevada Health District has started administering doses of the Pfizer shot that's for kids ages 5 to 11. The option for kids to get shots started last Wednesday nationwide after the CDC endorsed the Pfizer vaccine for this age group. Now, while the overwhelming number of COVID cases have been in those who are older, kids have not been immune. More than 37,000 kids have tested positive for COVID-19 in Clark County. That's according to the health district. Nevada small businesses will not face an unemployment insurance tax hike next year. Last month, the Employment Security Council recommended an increase to the tax on employers from 1.65% to 2%. But after talking about it with small businesses, the agency decided against it. Now, Governor Sisolak says he intends to keep taxes on businesses low. A really pleasant week ahead of us, but until then tonight, also very mild and cool after landing in the mid 70s this afternoon. Clear skies, temperatures dropping into the low 60s by around 11 o'clock, and we'll see those early morning temperatures starting out in the mid 50s to kick off your Thursday. Those daytime highs once again landing in the mid to upper 70s. A gradual warming trend as we head towards the weekend, both Friday, Saturday, and Sunday landing in the upper 70s. Those temperatures nearly 10 degrees above average for this time of year and will hold steady through about Monday. We'll see our temperatures dropping by Tuesday with a bit more cloud cover and an increase in some moderate wind speeds. But even with that slight cool down early next week, we'll still be technically above average for this time of year. All right, Kelsey, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktmb.com and our free mobile app.